Hello and thanks for watching and listening. Um, yeah, just crack on now. Just reading, reading from, I'll crack on with reading the Bible. So I'm reading from um, Genesis uh, 11, uh, chapter 11, and it's on um, the Tower of Babel. So I read. Um, now the whole world had one land had one language and a common speech as men moved eastward they found a plain in Shana and a settled there they said to each other come let's make bri bricks and bri bake them Let's make bricks and bake, bake, bake them thoroughly. They used brick instead of stone, and between be, be, and be and be be be. And bitumen. And bitumen for more a bitumen for mortar um then they said come let us build <coughs> ourselves a city with a tower that reaches to the heavens so that we may make a, a name for ourselves and not be scattered over the face of the whole earth but the lord came down came down and came down to see the city the p the tower that the men were building the lord said it has it has come it has if as one people speaking the the name la the same the same language they have begun to do this then nothing they plan to do will be impossible for them come let us go down and confuse their language so they will not understand each other so the Lord scattered them from there over all the earth and they stopped building the city that is why it was called Babel because there because there the, the the Lord confused the language of the whole uh, of the whole world of the whole world um from there the Lord scattered them over the face of the whole earth next part um from Shem to Abr Abram ten this is a account of Shem two years after the flood when Shem was a hundred years old he became the father of Aphak Af Af said after uh, and after he be became the father father of Aphak said Shem lived 500 years and had other sons and daughters when a a faxed had lived thirty five years he became the father of she Shela and and after he became the father of Shela Afax Afax Afaxed lived four hundred and three years and had other sons and daughters when Sheila had lived three hundred thirty years he became the father of e e Eber and after the after he became the father of Eber Shela Shela lived four hundred and three years and had other sons and daughters when Eber ha Eber had lived thirty four thirty four years he became the father of Pe Pe Peleg and after he became the father of Peleg 
Aba lived for 430 years and had other sons and daughters when Peleg had lived 30 years he became the father of Ru and after he became the father of Ru Peleg lived 209 years and had other sons and daughters when Ru had lived 32 years he he, he became the father of Sir Surug and after he became the father of Surug Ru lived 207 years and had other sons and daughters when Surug had lived th 30 years he became the father of no no Noah Noah Okay, Noah. Um, I think that's it. Noah. And after he became the father of Noah, Serug lived two two hundred years and had other sons and daughters. When Noah had lived twenty nine years, he became the father of Terah. And after he became the father of Terah. Noah lived 119 years and had other sons and do daughters. I, I think I might say that name wrong, but hopefully not. After Terah had lived 70 years, he became the father of Abram. Noah and Noah and Noah and Har Haran. This is the account of of Terah. Terah became the father of Abram. Abram. No. No Hall. And Haran. And Haran became the father of Lot, while his father Terah was still alive. Aaron died in Ur of the Chaldeans in the land of he, of his f birth. Abram and no Nahor both married. The name of Abram's wife. Let me start again now. Abram and Nahor both married. The the name of Abram's wife was Sarai, and the name of No No Noah's wife was Milch Mil 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 She was the daughter of Haran, the father of b both Mil Milcah and Isaac. Isaac. Sorry about pronouncing these names. Not very good at the moment. Um. Now Sarah, Sar Sarai. Now Sarai was barren. She had no children. Terah took his son Abram, his grandson Lot, son of Aran, and his daughter in law, daughter in law Sarai, the wife of his son Abram, and. Together they set out from Era Ura of the Chaldeans to go to Canaan, Canaan, Canaan. But when they came to Haran, they settled there. Terah Ter lived 205 years, and he died in died in Haran, Hara, Haran. Okay. Chapter twelve Chapter twelve The Call of Abram The Lord had said to Abram Leave your country, your people, your fa and leave it leave your country, your people, and your father's household and go to the land I will show you. I will make you into a great nation and I will bless 
you I will make your name great and you will and you will be blessed you and you will will be a blessing I will bless those who bless you and whoever curses you I will curse and all peoples on earth will be blessed through through you so Abram left as the Lord had told him and Lot went with hi with him Abram was 70 75 years old when he had set out from Haran Haran he took his wife Sarai his ne nephew Lot all the possessions they had accumulated and the people they had acquired in Haran and they set out for the land of Can Canaan and they arrived there Abram traveled through the land as far as the sites of as as far as the, of the as far as the site of the great tree of Mor Mor Mora at Shechem at that time the Canaanites were in the in the land the Lord appeared to Abram and said to your offspring I will give this land so he built an altar there to the Lord who had appeared to him from where from there he went on towards the hills east of Beth Bethel and pitched his tent with Bethel on the west and I A Ai on the east there he built an altar to the Lord and called on the name of the Lord then Abram set out and continued towards towards the Negev Abram is in Abram in Egypt now there was a famine in the land and Abram went down to Egypt to live there for a while because the famine was severe as he was about to enter Egypt he said to his wife Sarai I know what a beautiful woman you are when the Egyptians see you they will say this is this is his <coughs> wife then they will kill me but will let you live say you are my sister so that I will be treated well for your sake so so I will be treated well for your sake and my life will be spared because of you when Abram came to Egypt the, the Egyptians saw that she was a very beautiful woman and when Pharaoh when Pharaoh's Pharaoh's of when Pharaoh's officials saw her they praised her to praise her to Pharaoh and she was taken into his palace he treated he treated Abram well for her sake and Abram acquired sheep and cattle male and female donkeys men men servants and maid servants and camels but the Lord inflicted serious diseases on Pharaoh Pharaoh and his household because of Abram's wife Sarai so Pharaoh summoned Abram what have you done to me he said why didn't you tell me she was your wife you, why did you say she is my sister so that I took her to be my wife now then here is your wife take her and go 
then fair fair then then Pharaoh gave orders then Pharaoh gave orders out then then Pharaoh gave orders o about Abram to his men and they sent him on his way with his wife and everything he had chapter 13 Abram and 13 chapter 13 Abram and Lot se separate so Abram went up from Egypt to the Negev with his wife and everything he had and Lot went with him Abram had became very wealthy in livestock and his and in silver and gold a from the Negev he went from place to place until he until he came to Bethel to the place between Bethel and A A Ai where his tent had been earlier and where he had first built the altar there Abram called on the name of the Lord now Lot who was moving about with Abram also had flocks and herds and tents but he but but the land could not support them while they stayed together but they, but there but there sorry there's no but um but but the land could not support them while they stayed together for their possessions were were so great th that they were not able to stay together a quarreling arose between Abram's herdsmen and the herdsmen of Lot the Canaanites and the her her the Canaanites and Parasites were also living in the land at the time so Abram said to Lot let's not have any quarreling between you you and me or between your herdsmen and mine for we are our brothers is not the whole land be before before you let's part company if you go to the left I'll go to the right if you go to the right I'll go to the left Lot looked up and saw that the whole plain of the Jordan was well well watered like the the garden of the of the of the Lord, like the land of Egypt towards Zora, towards Zor. This was before the Lord be destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. So Lot chose for himself the whole plain of the Jordan, and set out towards the east the two men parted company Abram lived in the land of Canaan while Lot lived among the cities of the plain and pitched his tents near Sodom now the now the now the, now the men of Sodom were wicked and were sinning greatly against the Lord the, the Lord said to Abram after Lot had parted parted from him lift up your eyes from where you are and look north and south east and west all the land that you see I 
will give you to get will order than you order than you see I will give to you order land order land order land that you oh sorry order land that you see I will give to you and you and your offspring forever we, I will make your offspring like the dust of the earth so that if anyone could count the dust then you then your then your offspring could be con then your then your offspring could be could be counted go walk through the la the length and breadth of the land for i am for i am giving it to you so abram moved his tents and went to live near the great tree trees of mamor at hebron where he built an altar to the lord Chap chapter 14 abram re re Abr abram rescues lot at this time Ab am 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 king am 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 fell king of Sh shino aroko arok king of Eliezer, Kedor Lomo, Kedor, Kedor Lomo, King of Elam, and Tidal, King of Giam, Goim, went to war against Bera, King of Sodom, Bersha, Ber King of Gomorrah, Shinab, Shinab, King of Admor Shemeber Shem, Shem King of Zeb Zebelim and the King of Bela that is Zor all these latter kings joined forces in the valley of Sid Sidom the salt the salt sea for twelve years for twelve years for twelve years they had been subject to Kedolomo but in the thirteenth year they rebelled in the fourteenth year Kedolomo and the kings allied with him went out and defeated the Rephus Rephites in Ashtaroth Carnium Carnium the, the Zeusites Zeus, Zeus Zeusites in Ham and Emites in Shava Shava Carathum Carithium and the Hor Horites in the hill country of Seir as far as El Paran near the desert then they turned back and went to En Mishpat that is Kadesh, Kadesh and they conquered the whole territory and they conquered the whole territory of of the Amal Amalekites as well as the uh, Amorites who were living in Hazanzon Tamar then the king of Sodom the king of <coughs> Gomor, Gomorrah the king of Ad Admar, Admar the king of Zeb Zeb Zeboim and the king of Bela that is Zor marched out and drew up their their battle lines in the valley <coughs> of Sodim against K K 
que, que do lo mo lo colo do mo colo que do lo me king of el um tidal tidal king of goim and morphal king of shino and ari och king of Ele eleazar four kings against five now the valley of Sid Sidim was full of tarp full of tar pits and the and when the kings of Sodom and Gomorrah fled, some of the men fell into them and the rest fled in and the rest fled to the to the hills. The four kings seized all the kings of Sodom and Gomor and Gomorrah and all their food then they went away they also carried off ca they, they, they also carried off Abram's nephew Lot and his possessions since he was living in Sodom one who one who had escaped came one who had escaped came and r reported this to Abram the, he the Hebrew now Abram was living near the great trees of Mam Mamra the Amorite a brother of Eskol and Anur all of whom were allied with Abram when Abram heard that his rela relative had been taken captive he called out the 318 trained men born in his household and went in pursuit as far as Dan during the during during the night Abram divided his men his men to attack to attack them and be sorry to attack them and he r routed them routed them routed them pursuing them as far as Habar north of da Damascus he recovered all the goods and brought back his relative Lot and his po possessions together with the woman and the, o the other people after Abram returned returned um after Abram returned from defeating Kedolomo and his and the kings allied with him so allied with him the king of Sodom came out to meet him in the valley of Shiva that is the king's valley then Melchizedek Kizdek or Kizek, king of Salem, brought out breed, brought out bread and wine. He was pre, he was priest of of God Most High, and he blessed Abram, saying, "Blessed he, blessed be, blessed be Abram, blessed be Abram by God Most High, Creator of heaven and earth." and blessed be God most high who delivered your enemies into your hand deliver your enemies into your hand then then Abram gave him a then a, then Abram gave gave him a tenth of everything the king of Sodom said to Abram 
give me the people and keep the goods for yourself but Abram said to the king of Sodom I have raised my hand to the Lord God most high creator creator of heaven and earth and 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 have taken on uh, and have taken and have taken an oath that I will accept nothing belonging to you not even a thread or or the thong thong or thong of of a sand sandal so that you will never be able to say I ha I made Abram rich I will accept nothing but I will accept nothing but what my men have eaten and and the share that belong belongs to the men who went with me to an an uh, an uh, es 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 shawl and and maimer let them have their share okay um it is best to read it f read the bible for yourself actually have the bible in front of you that's it i, w I don't know if i'm going to read on but i might do but i just thought i'll just explain just take a little break um just to, just to explain that um it is best if you um have the bible in front of you to read it for yourself because um I don't know if I'm actually using the right words. Some of the words I know, I know, I know, as you can tell. But some of the words I, I, I do know. But I, I just thought I just read it twice, say it twice, in a different way, in two different ways. Um, but it is best to have the Bible in front of you instead of reading it, f instead of just listening to it on the video on its own and watching the audio and listen to it on video, instead of just watching it, if that makes sense. Well, it does. Sorry, I got my words muddled up. Or some or something. Um. Yeah, I'll stop. I'll stop there for now. Um, but uh, the next the next part is coming up soon. Um, chapter fifteen. Um, which is in entitled um God's covenant with Abram. Chapter fifteen. Um, but um. I hope you've um enjoyed reading reading it with me and um. God bless and take care. Bye for now.